Okay, so our Ag Mechanics class starts out, we have a single block class where our kids come in and we learn uh, a little bit about wood, plumbing, electricity, uh, like an overall rounded uh, class to where they get a little bit of everything we do in Ag Mechanics. And then uh, we get into welding at the end of uh, that, that first uh, year. And then from there they get in a double block class where they come in here for two hours. And uh, basically we get in here and uh, we go over a lot of uh, safety and we do NCCR uh, certification training. And we do that in both classes. And then uh, from there we start getting into projects. And uh, back behind me over here we, we have them uh, learning how to weld and running beads and trying to perfect their, their art and, uh, and welding. And then from there they start building uh, different uh, projects like trailers and uh, barbecue pits and and uh, we do a, a lot of different um, welding projects for uh, the Pasadena Livestock Show and the Houston uh, Livestock Show. So from there they just learn how to how to put projects together. Uh, we learn how to basically construct stuff out of metal from nothing. We weld it all, we fabricated everything. Uh, I plan on going in as a pipe fitter, maybe even a welder on the pipeline, so I could use these skills for just about anything. Uh, we learn how to use different types of machines, like you learn how to use a grinder, you learn how to use cranes, you learn how to make different things out of like torches, uh, plasma cutters, all sorts of things. Uh, in learning how to weld and how to put projects together, our main goal is to put these kids out in the workforce. So with their NCCR training and learning how to weld in this class and learning how to do wood projects, uh, it gets them ready to go into the workforce. So uh, a good thing for them is by working in here, they can learn how to be uh, a pipe fitter's helper, which would uh, ultimately get them to be in a, a pipe fitter or either a welder's helper, which would uh, train them to be a welder. Uh, a lot of them uh, may go into the plumbing field and uh, different aspects like that. We have kids that come into this class that may not be college bound, okay? So uh, what we're concentrating on is getting them to where they can go out into the workforce. And by going out into the workforce, some of them may go to um, like uh, San Jack for a welding class or for a pipe fitters class. Technical training and, te and, and, and um, classes like this gets them out in the workforce to where they're making a really good uh, living out there. They can start off uh, being a helper, 15, 16 bucks an hour, and by the time they become either a welder or a, a pipe fitter or, or um, a plumber, they could be making upwards of uh, $40 an hour and, and making a good living.